Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to go into Blender. Now, before you set up Blender, I, I recommend doing this little tweak, and, and I, I actually don't know how well it actually works, but I do recommend giving it a shot if you have trouble. So um, right click, choose display settings, choose graphics settings, you know, browse the classic apps, find the Blender folder, add it, and then adjust that option to high performance. Again, like I said, I'm really not sure how much this actually does, but uh, let's go for it. Make sure to also restart Blender after you make those changes. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open kind of a low um, poly model here. And, and you have to forgive me because I'm really not uh, very adept at Blender at all. I'd consider myself slightly above the most beginner beginner. So uh, here we're in a low poly model and uh, rotating around, zooming in and out, just so you guys get a, a feel for uh, how well it handles the uh, this size of file. I think this was about a, a one meg file. And this one I think is around a seven meg file. And you can see Here is handling this one just fine, which is is a a little bit surprising to me. I'm I'm really impressed with how well the Surface Go, and this is the four gigabyte Surface Go. I'm really impressed with how well it handles 3D and uh, 2D and pretty much everything I've thrown at it. And I would say with the four gigabyte four gigabyte model that it's a little bit slower loading files but once you're in the files it's really not too bad uh, for those of you who are new to my channel the zoom feature that i'm doing right here is called touch zoom desktop and on the left side is the artist pad from tablet pro and then the you can see which shortcuts are being pressed with a program called key press osd uh, so this this model here is uh, over a million vertices. I'm, again, I'm not exactly sure how it works in Blender, but this is the largest of the files that I'm testing. And you can see there's some significant lag and slowdown. So um, hitting simplify so we can drop the poly count or whatever it is in about half. And at half the, the count uh, is, is decent I and mean, workable. Again, I'm not entirely sure how it works in Blender, but it gives you an idea. I'm sure if you're familiar with Blender, you'll know uh, what this means for you by watching the model rotate. All right, so here we're just doing a little bit of editing uh, in case some of you guys are wondering how and if this will handle editing. So um, part of the problem is I'm, I'm not really familiar with how to edit here. So the uh, right click tap and then drawing everything is just unfamiliar with me. The computer is handling the process fine. I'm just a novice. All right, so uh, you guys just feel free to watch <laughs> whatever else here as I kind of just play around with the model. Uh, if you guys have questions, please uh, put them in the comments. I uh, appreciate everyone who's reached out as well and asked about certain programs. Uh, I should be doing a couple really cool videos coming up soon too, so please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll have a top drawing programs for the Surface Go video coming out. and. We'll have some demos of each of those programs, as well as a tutorial on how uh, I set up my computer, because I know that there's a lot of people who are really curious on how this setup is set up. So for those of you who are watching and 
notice my voice is a little bit more buttery smooth is because my little girl is uh, sleeping next to me and I talk this way if I'm trying not to wake her up. Oh, uh, here in the video you can see I'm using the full screen mode in Tablet Pro to navigate and I'm showing you guys my settings. Uh, I was told in the past that you needed to have that emulate three button mouse selected, but it doesn't seem to matter here. Uh, for those of you who are, are wondering, there also seems to be no difference for when the computer is plugged in or or not plugged in. I know some machines that makes a big difference. Alright you guys, again, if you have comments or questions, please put them in the comments. <laughs> and uh, until next time, stay creative.